I read somewhere about these people in England who took some kind of painkiller and, and it was going to kill them and they found out afterwards that their livers were going to be totally destroyed and, and they would die and they had to sit there for a couple of days, you know, just waiting to die. They probably didn't even really want to die in the first place and probably just didn't even take it up on purpose. How retarded can you get? If it was me, I'd do it right. Like Juliet. So they couldn't save me. I'd do it beautifully. Falling down on my bed in the moonlight. Some nights on top of my comforter in my crummy bunk, I imagine I'm lying in my casket in Juliet's wedding costume with a little black velvet cap on my hair. I'd leave a note to make sure that my parents would buy it from Starwood. That would be the least they could do. And there would be music, like Pachelbel's Canon. I know it's a cliche, but that's only because it makes people get weepy. Or Claire de Lune, because I'm so young and I'll never look at the moon again. Or, what is it? Pavan for a dead princess? My parents made me listen to all that classical crap along with show tunes when I was little. And I took piano lessons. I got imprinted on it like a little duck, so now... Whenever I imagine the soundtrack to my life, I read somewhere once about these people in England, and they took a bunch of painkillers, and they found out later that their livers were destroyed, and they were going to die, and they had to sit there for a couple of days, just waiting to die probably didn't even really want to die in the first place and probably just didn't take enough on purpose. How retarded can you get? If it were me, I'd do it right. Like Juliet, so they couldn't save me. I'd do it beautifully, falling down on my bed in the moonlight. Some nights, on top of my comforter and my crummy bunk, I imagine I'm lying on my casket in Juliet's wedding costume with a little velvet cap on my hair. I'd leave a note to make sure that my parents would buy it from Starwood, that'd be the least they could do. And there would be music, like Pachelbel's Canon. I know it's a cliche, but everyone knows it and it makes people get all weepy. Or Claire de Lune, because I'm so young and I'll never look at the moon again. Or, what is it, Pavan for a dead princess. My parents made me listen to all that classical crap along with show tunes when I was little and I took piano lessons. I got imprinted on it like a little duck, and now it's always the soundtrack when I imagine my life as a movie. I don't even know the songs kids my age know. Yes, it would be so sad. Classical and sad. Classy and sad. My parents also used to make me read poems and memorize them, so I would train my memory. It worked. I could memorize whole pages of lines in a few hours. Like there was this one, brightness falls from the air, queens have died young and fair. I have no idea who wrote that, but my mom read it to me when I was little. I just saw it again in a magazine story about Princess Diana dying all those years ago. And I thought how it would be perfect for someone to read for my eulogy. Just one little piece of poetry, you know. Maybe one of the kids from when I was in St. Bernard's Players in 8th grade. Like, Abby would want to do it. Abby totally worshipped me. And she would be falling apart, sobbing while she was reading. I can see it. I can hear her. How would Logan feel then? Totally like shit. Totally like the turd he is. Standing there, looking at the body of the girl he said he loved. <laughs> that would be worth it. But he's so into himself, I don't know anymore. If Logan has feelings, or, or if he just pretends he has them to impress people. Probably pretend he was totally worn down by the sadness. I cared so much. I did everything I could. I can hear him saying, what a total liar. I'm not the one in denial here. <laughs> He'd probably feel like he deserved all this pity and compassion and junk when he wasn't even dead. Girls would probably be falling all over to comfort him. They'd be all dressed up in their black and their jewelry and their push-up bras smelling of perfume. I'd be lying there like a tiny little queen, but he'd be standing there with his head on someone else's shoulder. It would be a big risk another way, too. Like, would he even bother to come? Would his parents let him? 
Maybe they think it was too traumatic for poor, poor Logan after all he's been through. What if he couldn't even say a good goodbye to me? A final goodbye in my tomb? What if I'd be dead forever? And even if the funeral was really good, he might not even go. I wouldn't even know if he was there or not. Maybe I wouldn't even be getting back at him. You know life is crap and it's not even worth killing yourself.